So I'm using this little box cutter I have. Let's shed some light on the situation. So I have my uh, mount dog and my ring light. Black and Decker one point seven cubic foot portable washer. And this is the piece that goes to the bottom. It was on top. And so what I'm looking for now is this seam. It has staples in it. I thought I would maybe have to use this, so I'm gonna put this down so I don't cut myself. They put um, a piece of plastic over the whole thing and this styrofoam with the boards is sitting on top. Um, so they do their best, oops, to package it really well to prevent damage, obviously. So, now that I've found the seam, I'm just gonna pull the staple. If I can. I do need to shampoo my hair and I have, I'm doing a hot oil treatment. Phone. was gonna be um, but it's a pretty good size so here you have the connections that go on the back um, unless you have washer and dryer connection they really recommend that you only use the cold um, so there's more styrofoam here is Here is your holes on the side of the machine and it hooks on and off when you're not using it. Um, some handles on the side so you can lift it up. Another piece of Styrofoam. Uh, estimated yearly energy 
cost is nine dollars so um shouldn't be too much more for your electric bill if you decide to purchase one of these um a lot of people if they're not using a certain appliance they will unplug it so of course that is always in time and so let's um hmm let's see let's go ahead and tip her over I need to grab a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to take the plastic off. I feel like I need to save that styrofoam for when I move because when I moved my full size washer, um, the latch broke and I had someone come out and fix it. This was years ago. Um, so just kind of a backstory. Um, I moved from North Carolina to Georgia and I put my stuff in storage. And when I went to get my stuff out of storage to move into this apartment, um, I realized that there was no washer and dryer connection. And really it's a small apartment, so I don't have a place, I didn't really have a place for my full size washer and dryer. So I just left it at the U-Haul storage space I had at the time. And the lady was so excited because the washer and dryer was practically brand new. The only thing that was really wrong, again, was the latch was broken from moving it um, on a U-Haul truck from New Jersey to North Carolina. So, again, I probably need to keep that so that when I'm ready to move, it doesn't shift during the move. Um, and so, um, that's just some... They do have, like, U-Haul sells the... The things, 
that you can put inside the washer but since i already have this i'm probably gonna keep it um i did find a space on my business rack to just put it for now um, but then I may want to keep this part too. Since it has those wood pieces in it and it goes on top like that. So again, that'll prevent it from being damaged when I'm ready to move. So I'm, I'm going to keep this. But the rest um, should be able to go into the trash. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. It has a pretty good drum. If I put my arm inside, that's pretty good size. Um, if I remember correctly, when I was doing my research as to which one I was gonna buy, because there are different sizes, if I'm not mistaken, I can fit a king size blanket in here. Um, I'm not sure, but we'll find out. So here is the user's manual. I can tell that this is spanking brand new. No one ever used it. Um, this is the, let me show you from the top. This is where you will put your detergent. So that goes there um, and it does come with two sets of hoses, um, one for hot and one for cold. Again, if you don't have a dedicated um, washer and dryer hookup, they recommend that you only use the cold which I believe is this one. Um, and it does come with a washer. Now these are short from based on one of the YouTube videos I watched. It said this is only four feet. So a lot of people end up buying another one um, that's a little bit longer, but we'll see what we get. Um, so that's that. There's a lot of styrofoam inside. So I'll have to wipe that out. Um, but I am going to wash, well not wash, I'm going to clean it. Um, this is your lint trap. It pops right in and out. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, and um, yeah, let's go ahead and flip her over. I'm going to put that styrofoam back on top. Um, the internet said it was 80 pounds, so um, it doesn't really feel like it's like 80 pounds. I guess with all the packaging, it probably totals 80 pounds. I don't know, it looks like something may have broken. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna figure it out. Oh, okay, so it didn't break. It's for transportation use only. 
So again, this may be something that I want to save. It looks like it was meant to go in here to prevent that part from moving. So that'll probably be another piece that I save. Okay. But it did break. So let me. clean as you just go type of person so I want to clean as I go. do this for a really long time by this washer and I'm not really sure what why I was so hesitant well I, I know why but I was just like oh I don't really have the space for it I was just kind of making excuses and then I was telling somebody at work that I pay for a wash dry fold service and they were like by the time you do that a few times you could just buy a washer and um, at some point, I am going to get the dryer. So this was, I think, $369 on sale. And I think the dryer is like $311 or somewhere around in there. Depends on where you buy it from. You have to be careful when you buy it if you buy, decide to buy it off of Amazon because a lot of people say that they receive the damaged one when they get it off of Amazon. Um... Like, it'll have a dent. Like, there's nothing wrong with it, but, like, the lid may have some scratches on it or be dented or something like that. So, I ordered mine off of Home Depot. This video is not sponsored um, by Black & Decker, Home Depot, or any other company. So... This just slides in, but I have it on the wrong side. But it's plastic, so. So, now I have to figure out where the screws are. Oh, there's a little plastic on the cord. Maybe that's what the, where the screws are. That's just the power cord. So let's look inside the owner's manual. So I just slid it in there. Again, it's plastic. So I just slid it into the slots. So, oh, there's the screw. It's only one. little baby screw
So screw this in. Your wash dry fold service is about, depending on how many clothes you have, how many pounds, they, it goes by the weight. So obviously the more clothes you have, the more expensive it's gonna be. So anywhere from like 25 to say 50, $60, especially you should be tipping. Like I don't think, I think when somebody provides a service for you, or you go somewhere to be waited on, that you should always leave a tip. Um, that's just how I was raised. Um, I think it's rude not to leave a tip, and I know some people don't feel like they should have to leave a tip, but a lot of people don't make a lot per hour, so their job is really dependent upon tips, and I don't think that people understand that. But anyway, um, if you leave a tip, you know, again, it could be, you're paying anywhere from like 50 to $60 if you have a good amount of clothes. So, we are all done. We need to flip her back up. Her into the kitchen. Again, I'm really excited because I've been waiting to do this for a long time. I've already made a space for her, so she has a home to go to. her new home she's already been cleaned and prepped sure if I want to get the dolly um, which is basically to put it on wheels I'll figure that out so take the twist tie off Her in and then push her up against the wall. So I did say I want to get the dryer. This is a water cooler. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a water cooler right there. Um, so if I get the dryer. I may have to move the water cooler because I don't have a whole lot of space here. That's the wall. And then it's basically like the cabinet. And then I wouldn't be able to open this. So there is like a stand that I could purchase. Um, 
So I'll figure out again whether or not that's something that I want to do. Okay, so now it's plugged in. Let me go grab the hoses. our instruction manual this holds well let's just use this hole since it has the I don't think it matters they don't say like how to hold Probably gonna have to push it right up against the sink um, because I don't think that this cord is this. Um, is going to be long enough. The holes, I don't think the holes is going to be long enough. This is the part that goes on to the sink. So I'm going to show you that. Those are my hoses and my. So I need to take this off. See my stove a little bit. <laughs> and so I need to take the washer out because it won't fit, it looks like, with the washer on. But there is one on the inside. So we'll. Make sure we keep that together. I want to cut it. Now this part here, in this part, it's going to go onto the back of the on the cold side so yeah I'm gonna have to turn it this way so I probably will need to get the dolly so that I can move it easier although it's right here um, and I could tilt it but um, I 
kind of would rather not keep, have to do that all the time. And it seems safer. So, again, this part goes onto the sink. Ready to turn her on. Let's see. All right. Now, again, I am just going to do a wash or kind of rinse it out, I guess, clean it out. So I'm going to do cold because, again, Unless you have a dedicated washer and dryer connection, they recommend that you only use cold water in it. Um, so you can do soak, wash, rinse, or spin. So I'm gonna do wash. A large load is 20 minutes um, on colds and I put bulky, but let's do quick. So it'll be 19 minutes. So you have, this is, let me show you. <laughs> so what I basically did is put it on procedure as wash. The low size, I'm going to put back to large. Okay, so it's now 22 minutes. Um, the time is going to be 22 minutes. The temperature is cold. I put it on normal and quick. And we're going to press start. Oh, I need to turn the water on. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so when you open the door, you get an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my ammonia in here. She's good. There is no leaking. And there is my hose in the sink. And so we're gonna let her um For some reason, it doesn't look like it's filling up. Oh, yes, it is. So. 
she's filling up. This is gonna be such a convenience to not have to go to the laundromat. Um, and to be able to wash, right now I'm working two jobs and um, it's kind of challenging to keep up with um, you know, keeping my clothes clean. Um, that's one of the reasons why I was doing the wash, pot, fold, and dry service. Let me sweep up some of this styrofoam. Um, so this is going to be much more inconvenient because then I can wash my uniforms and, um, and have more time at home because a lot of times with working two jobs, when I'm off, I do have errands to run and one of those errands is to do laundry. But now that'll, you know, cut that out some and give me more time to rest and do some of the other things that I need to do as opposed to trying to be in the laundromat. Um, and I do have already a, um, a clothes rack I've had for quite some time. Um, so I'll just be able to air dry my clothes. So there's that. Um, so once they're done washing, I can just conveniently put them on there and that will be that. I do have some laundry detergent. Um, I'm going to go and grab um I'm gonna throw this box and stuff in the trash. I won't do it right now. I'll just go ahead and grab the laundry detergent. It is raining outside. Something told me to go get it earlier, but it's fine. It's just a little rain. Just a little rain. It's thundering too. Again, this video is not sponsored, but I'll show you what I like to use. So, I took out my OxyClean already and my fabric salt on um, dryer sheets, although I don't have a dryer right now. So that, that is in the plan. So that's the true laundry detergent and true fabric softener. And they do give you these little cups. Um, I also like chlorine bleach. And this will be my first time trying the stain remover. And I also have some Suavitel dryer sheets as well. And when you order from the True, they deliver it, if you live in Atlanta, close enough to their address, which I live a couple miles from, um, they will deliver it directly to your home and you don't have to pay for shipping. And they give you a little thank you card with your purchase. Is a black owned business. For those who are interested, I 
know some people say, oh, well, all I use is Tide, and that's fine. If you don't want to try something new, I like it. I've been using it for years, and it works for me. So if you want to su support a small business or a specifically a Black-owned business, that is an option for you. If you would like to, it's the True Products dot com like i said this ad is not sponsored or this video is not sponsored i dropped something and i want to pick it up before i forget so i'll get it later I also like this laundry booster. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the detergent in the machine. I'm gonna pour it, I'm gonna pour it directly in there. I'm not even gonna use one of the cups. Um, that's the cup, it goes up to two ounces. Uh, I don't wanna use that much. I'm just gonna put a little bit. So I'm gonna pause it so we don't get that error. And I smell the ammonia. I just wanted to put a little splash. And then I'll go ahead and start it again. So, um, it's almost done filling up. So, and just to kind of give you a perspective, um, it's like right up to the cabinet top. And now it's washing. So that is a large load. Some more plastic here that probably I can take off, but I'll leave it for now. And there's the energy guide for those who are interested. And so since I'm just washing out the machine, I'll just go ahead and let that finish washing. And then once I'm done, I'll go ahead and push it back up against the wall. I will probably go ahead to Home Depot and get a longer cord. I am curious to see once the water starts to come out, because um, some people say you should tie this hose down. Um, or even buy another one. It came already attached, so I don't even know if I can buy another one. Um, it looks like it's kind of clipped in there. So... I may have to tie it down or use a zip tie or something to kind of, um, a lot of people they'll use the little hook and they'll like tie it to the, the sink, if that makes sense. You know, the, one of these things. I don't know what they're called, but you know, the drain. Um, I don't know, like the official name, but I do have this in there 
hopefully that gets like the lint. If not, I'll get like some pantyhose or something. Um, but I am curious to see um, to make sure that the hose doesn't go crazy when the water starts to drain. And um, the first load of clothes that I'm actually gonna wash will be some white clothes. I'll wash my white uniform shirts and see how those come out. A lot of people say that it does wash really well. So I'm confident that I've made a good investment. And again, I don't have to go to the laundromat anymore, especially knowing that I can fit my king size blanket in there. Um, people do also recommend that you not overload it. So some people um, put too many clothes in it and you don't wanna do that. Um, I'm just watching it. Um, because you want your clothes to wash well. And they say if you overload it, that's that causes leakage. The, the, the machine will leak. So it's not meant for that. It's not meant for you to overfill. Um, but if push comes to shove and I can't wash my king size blanket, then that will be something that I just have to do at the laundromat, which is fine. Um, so again, you can soak your clothes, you can wash your clothes, you can rinse your clothes, you can spin your clothes. Um, someone said that if you put it just on spin, that'll help dry them. So like you don't actually have to buy the dryer. Oh, we're in for a treat. It's straining out now. And it's just working just fine. So this is perfect. The only thing I need is a longer washing machine hose. And I will have to take those styrofoam pieces out. I'm not sure if you can see them in there. Let's pause it. Um, you see this pieces of styrofoam, they're kind of in the soap suds. So I am going to take those out. while they're floating on water. And I just wanted to wash away like all the factory dust, and, you know, stuff, so. There is a piece of styrofoam in the sink, so that means the rest of it probably would have come out once it was done. But. I'm going to take out as much of it as I possibly can right now. Okay. And I'm going to restart it. This is great. Um, I know one of... Somebody said to me, like, whatever you have, like, when you have something, it is usually your goal to have it again. Like, so say, for example, a car. If you're used to having a car as your mode of transportation, 
you will seek to purchase another car and your mode of transportation. Uh, and, um, so yeah. Again, this is a great investment as far as I'm concerned. It is an investment. It's not just like a random purchase. Because obviously we need to keep our clothes clean. That's not optional. That's actually a necessity to keep our clothes clean. Um, and this little cap goes on the hot side. I don't know if it's for aesthetics or safety, but we'll go ahead and put that on. So again, I have an extra hose, and I think I am gonna go ahead and go to Home Depot and buy a longer hose. Um, although, I'll still have to push it up against the sink because of the drain hose. So maybe I won't buy another hose, because that seems like an unnecessary purchase. Because again, either way, I just need the dolly so that I can push it back and forth easily and not tilt it um, because the drum does move a little bit when you tilt it. So now all the water has drained out. I'm gonna pause it again because I see some more styrofoam in there. Um, okay, so there's 14 minutes left. I don't know that I really need to. For it to like go through the spin cycle, because again, I was just cleaning out the machine itself. Um, I think I might go ahead and go start washing my um, white shirts. So, one of the, of course, disadvantages to having a small place, I shouldn't call it a disadvantage. You just have to come up with clever solutions when you live in a small space to, um, to store stuff like I use the top of my stove to store stuff I have like a, a a rack for my business stuff and so um you just have to find creative ways to store stuff so again I'm, I had intentions of sorting out my clothes earlier but I did not do that <laughs> but it'll only take a second so I'm basically washing my white shirts for work so it'll be like a small load of clothes and i'm not gonna put bleach because i am gonna wash something that's tan as well so a pair of joggers a pair of sweatpants they're both beige like five, six shirts, six white shirts. 
a sweater, a little small, little cardigan type sweater. A tank top, some white socks. I think that'll be it. Yep, because the rest are basically colored clothes. So I'm gonna set you up. So the machine is still going. Right. I'm gonna I guess stop it. I'm gonna stop it and then turn it back on. So that restarted it, okay? So again, we're going to wash. I'm gonna put it on large, cold. normal and I'm going to put detergent in this time again I'm not going to put bleach because um, I have some things that are not pure white so I'll just use the two ounces of detergent When this company first started, they used to have plastic bottles. I miss that. I mean, I like the bag. I like that it's, you know, in, environmentally friendly. But, um, yeah, I like the bags, too. <laughs> so we'll pour this in here. And we'll do some OxyClean. And the OxyClean comes with its own scoop. And we'll press start. So now we'll let that fill up. I'm going to start by putting just a little bit at a time. Put a little stain remover on a couple things.
So now I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to add a shirt. So it can kind of soak while it's filling up. When I'm actually doing a medium low, it kind of seems to automatically default to medium. This is so convenient. I'm going to pause it and add the laundry booster. I think it's best if you put your detergent and everything in first and let it kind of, especially if you're using powder, just let it dissolve in the water first. So it's almost full. Go ahead and press start. So I already have one shirt in there. Well, I guess I should have, oops. I forgot to press pause. I guess I should have shown you. I did have a little, little bit of a stain underneath the armpit. I did already put some stain remover. I don't know if you can see it. But. Um, I don't think there's a stain on anything else. Here's the sock. It's a little dirty at the bottom. Sometimes I go outside barefoot, take the trash out.
All right, so now it's full. Let's go ahead and pause it. So there's already one shirt. Oh, I want to put some more of the stain remover in. not a work shirt it's just a regular white blouse so that's short sleeve so what was that what am i at six one two Six pairs of socks and some undies. A tank top. So 11 shirts, some undergarments. Two tank tops. Another pair of sweats. That's a good amount of clothes. And it's still kind of room technically. I think I want to put some more detergent in though. So this what it is what it looks like with clothes in it. So um this video was a little longer than I thought, so I'll just show the finished product. Love y'all as always. Thank you for watching.